First question is from Robo Roger Hammersnake. Whatever you want, man. Uh, so he asks, is it still viable uh, to build your own router this day and age, or should I just go with a pre-built router? Okay, uh, that's a pretty broad question. It really uh, depends on what you're gonna be using it for. If you just want to get online and stuff, you can grab a regular router, but I would always recommend third-party firmware. Um, so when it comes to the regular routers, you're gonna wanna look at DDWRT or OpenWRT. But I'll show you uh, DDWRT. There are too many different routers out there that support this. So what you're gonna wanna do is find a router that's uh, gonna meet your needs as far as speed, you know, the Wi-Fi bandwidth and everything like that. And then you come over to uh, DDWRT, Dot com that's dd hyphen wrt.com and then you can go to your router database and just see if it's available there like let's type asus asusu and you can see all the different models here most of the asus models uh, support it and i really like these things uh so yeah just come over here and use that as a guide now if you want to build your own there's a few different ways you can go we've got our old video uh, which still holds up today pf sense is the best way if you're building like a completely custom router now this is a little alix form pack factor um you know, box that I put together, uh, one of our routers here at the office. Now this one is extremely powerful for the size, more powerful than most things you can buy in stores. And it's got a nice little motherboard that has three uh, outputs here on the back. Now, one of the nice things about using PFSense is you can really configure these to do anything you want. You can have three totally separate networks that don't really talk to each other. You can use one just for Wi-Fi. Um, and one can be your WAN port and you can configure them however you like. Uh, but I picked all this up at, uh, I believe it's PC Engines, but I'll put all those links down in the description. Now, this is what you're going to do if you want like a small form factor. Uh, and the reason you step up to something like this is if you want to do caching. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you download a file and on one PC, like you download maybe the NVIDIA drivers or the AMD drivers, or maybe you download a game. Well, if you have caching enabled and you have a hard drive installed in here, you can put MSATA in this one or um, some of the new ones have different types of you know, memory, or you can do a SATA 2.5 inch in some of these things. So if you have caching, you download it once on one machine, right? Now you go to a different machine, maybe your laptop, and you're gonna download the same game or the same driver package. Well, when you start to download it, the router goes, hey, that's the exact same file, bit for bit. Here it is, and it just gives it to you. And you're like, whoa, that downloaded instantly. Yep, because it was stored in your cache right here. When, when you're doing like a LAN party or something, you can have it cache the entirety of Steam. I've seen pe some people that think they are, are gonna do that, but you know, have it cache like the, the popular games. So if you're doing like a little LAN party at your house, make sure you have this set up with the caching and then when everyone comes over if they want to download a certain game that's like 80 gigabytes or 30 gigabytes or whatever it'll just instantly download to their machine and you won't have to sit there all night drink beer and stare at your screens while you're, while you're like all right we're downloading stuff you guys want to share any weird porn is that what you guys do at ant land parties this is a clown with a someone and cakes and uh i don't know something else anyway so that's that option and then the third option is like the video we made you can build um a router or take one of an old an old computer and just turn it into a router it's not the most power efficient way to do it but it is probably the most powerful way to do it all right let's get down to twitter if you guys want to ask questions inbox at techsyndicate.com or you can go over to twitter and ask us questions there at tech syndicate or uh if you want to ask something that's maybe not uh, specifically tech you can ask me logan rtw underscore rtw all right greg says why the Finnick logo branding on the products? Why not the Burning Earth? All right, so since the beginning of time, I've been someone who's sort of tried to create uh, multiple different entities so that everything's not under the same branding. Um, and the Burning Earth has been a personal logo that I've been using. I say personal, but it started off with Raise the World. Uh, and, and the fire is always supposed to have represented like knowledge spreading around the world or just like us sharing information and that... You know, sets the world on fire. <laughs> Isn't that just touching right here? Anyway, with Epic Pants, it's a totally separate brand. So it can exist on its own as, you know, if, if someone knows nothing about Tech Syndicate, nothing about Raise the World, nothing about like video game or anything like that that we're making, they can come here and be like, oh, these are, you know, shirts about PC gaming and stuff. I understand. And then they can they can grab it. With Finnick, it's the same idea. Uh, we chose the Finnick Fox because it's fast, it's agile, it's quick, it's smart. And really the idea with Finnick is we have a couple of these products that are OEMs that we've uh, rebranded and changed all the internals and stuff. 
and then I would like for it to evolve into something where we have a few custom mice working together with uh, maybe some professional gamers to get some tips. Uh, of course, I'll throw in my two cents uh, as well because one of the reasons that I wanted to do this is because we wanted to make stuff specifically uh, for what we wanted. And we're gonna keep that separate as well so that it can exist outside of everything. So even if, you know, like, I'm making the video game and not focusing on Tech Syndicate or doing something else, uh, it's not all reliant upon that logo. Um, now, the Burning Earth logo is still kind of my thing. So, you know, once we get to a point where we're not so worried about like paying the bills every single month, we'll go ahead and make a special edition with the Burning Earth logo, but I don't see that happening uh, at least in not, at least until we sell through half of these. So we sold through about a fourth of them right now. Cosmic Tachyon says, what happened before the Big Bang? Um, I don't know. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Can we get Burning Earth long sleeve shirts again? There's a lot of questions about the store. Yes, you can get Burning Earth long sleeve shirts again when it gets cold again. We don't really do them for the summertime because they just sit on the shelf and take up space. Um, and we sold out of a lot of them this winter. You guys are awesome. Uh, Roger Kaiser, he says, is it true you're one fourth werewolf? What does that mean? Does that mean that I only turn into a werewolf one fourth of the time or that I'm only one fourth werewolf? Or does it mean that I have werewolf blood and don't turn into a werewolf? Should we tell them the secret? It is true. During the waning gibbous phase, not the full moon, I become a werewolf for about 45 minutes. So I don't have children. Anymore. <laughs> Does Logan make the music for the channel and Zweihander? If so, um, any chance for some tutorials, tips, or general behind the scenes videos about it? Um, yeah, I make, a, I make the music and um, as far as behind the scenes videos and tips, I guess I could do that. Um, the problem is, is that it's a little embarrassing for me because I'm not so good with the software. Uh, my background is more musical theory and I understand like putting the notes down way more than I understand doing all the effects layers and transitions and strange like sound effects that you can make. Um, I, I've done a lot to make my own instruments and stuff as much as I possibly can, but uh, really, my understanding is more music and less the um, the software. So it wouldn't be the best tutorial. Maybe I could do a tutorial, a tutorial on like how to make melodious, euphonious sounds, but then someone else would be right there to be like, actually, why has God abandoned us? Wouldn't he have to exist first? All right, Carnage 40K, he says, what have you been listening to lately, metal or otherwise? Been a lot of metal lately. Tribulation's new album, Down Below, is really awesome, but it's also got me listening to their older album, Children of the Night. Their music uh, is kind of reminds me of like what would happen if you had like Slash or maybe like in a band like Extreme, but they were also like grew up on black metal or death metal, and then they started creating some 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 riffs. They're really good. Uh, Queer's latest album, uh, Exila, I don't know how to say it, Exilus, Ex Exilismos, Exilismos, Queer's latest album, Exilismos, um, Algazanth's latest album, The Three-Faced Pilgrim is really good, if you like black metal, Cavalotalk, uh, Cavalotalk, Cavalotalk, there we go, Cavalotalk, I've been listening to their self-titled, it's their older album, but it's just like rocks, and then Carpenter Brute's new album, if you guys want something that's a little more dancing and poppy, it's okay. It's not nearly as good as his old stuff. It's kind of weird, but it's, it seems like he has less melody and more poppy. What did the poor inbox do to deserve being shot? Just let everybody have that joke there. I'm just letting everybody enjoy it. Will the GPU market stabilize anytime soon? Uh, no. Not until we have new cards coming out, I don't think. It's going to stabilize anytime soon. Might come down slightly, but MSRP is not going to be a thing for at least a few months, in my opinion. What's another band similar to Tool? Can I get a backwards cat, please? Yo, dude. <laughs> oh, man, Tool. Dude, do you know that they have the Fibonacci sequence in their music? It's mind-blowing. If you guys want another band that is as repetitive and boring, but also a little heavier than Tool, check out Gojira. <laughs> <laughs> just insulted so many people! Uh, all right, guys, pretty much it. Inbox, at Tech Syndicate, Logan RTW for mostly the fun questions, and then go over to Tech Syndicate on Twitter. 
and ask away. If you don't subscribe, I'm going to find out where you go to school or where you work. And I'm going to replace your boss with a robot that's actually full of bees. And not just any bees, we're talking Africanized bees. And then when you go see your boss to ask for a raise, well, that's the end of it. I don't have, I've got nothing. Too tired for this.